program in Wasengeshu County have today taken to the streets to protest in a bid to pressure the county government to refund money they had paid under the scheme. And as Juliet Chepkoet now reports, the parents have denied reports by county government claiming that it had refunded the money to affected parents. <laughs> A day after reports emerged that the Wasingishu County government had refunded about 68 million shillings to the affected parents in the botched Finland education program, parents took to the streets claiming that they had not received any money from the county government. <laughs> Every time I say Kwamba, I will meet the parents and, and students. <laughs> Personally, Nilianda po three times. Because Nilianda ko office yake. Ana adika majine ko hala watu mbao na ingia ndani. Yeye, ana kukalisha po unakapo the whole day, wesi kutana na ye. So he has been saying that he is going to meet the parents and students. And yet he cannot allow you to enter his office. Yeah. Every now and then, wakianda kwa press, wana say Kwamba, they were dealing with only with the program. But... The money was being handled by the trustees. But initially, look at this uh, uh, advert. In the advert, you are 24 Mwesu 2021. Now, the Republic of Kenya County Government of was in this issue. The one only advertised, was the group and they were organizing for the whole program. Even the, 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 the trustees are people, the public servants who are being working under the instruction, county government of Mandago. Despite the police trying to stop protests, the parents together with the students disobeyed the order and proceeded to the office of the county commissioner and that of the governor while threatening to disrupt the governor's conference set to be held in the town from the 15th of this month. So, what's up? He's being protected. I don't know who's protecting. Our president don't protect the coons and thieves. If and we say, "Ma kwa wakati we at the uta spare anybody," we shall want to see if you are going to spare Mandago or Majalilim. I want your money. No, no devolution. No river. No devolution. At the at the time, Kwanza, at the time, Kwanza of Finland. To me, to shaka. To see the tanganyu. To see where side to do this way. To na abagi to abagi nyumbani. To 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 find the gas here to have nyumbani. We shall not go anywhere. We call the hotbed paradise of fraudsters. Okay, thank you. Biwa was an issue is very open for you. Now we now want to idea our fraudsters are leaders, of which to suspect majority of these fraudsters when giwa on leaders and buy on the proxies. We are appealing to the county government, senator, na governor, both of them on the south county, but we are on county who are refund pesa, or else. Mamba ya devolution was an issue is a no. The process comes a few days after the county government promised to hold a meeting with the parents to find a solution to the conflict, with the former county governor Jackson Mandago denying any involvement in the scandal. The evidence that I'm involved. I was not indicted. I think you should just... Um, I, I was asked to present uh, because if you say I was involved, you must provide evidence. Again... You know, it is a choice of how we want to solve issues. First choice is a private company. And it had no agreement. Unlike this program, as a county, we never had any understanding with first choice. As the parents continue to cry for justice, the question still remains, who is to blame for the scandal that has left hundreds of students who were expected to travel to Finland for further studies and are now stranded not knowing what to do? Juliet Chukwet, Look Up TV.